geometry in place. You can use this tool to create a copy of that geometry offset by a given distance. When I activate the tool, you can see a plus sign appear next to the pointer letting me know that Inventor wants me to select some geometry. Right now, when I move the pointer over some geometry, you see the whole loop highlight. This is often helpful, but in cases where you only want to select a line or two, this behavior can be turned off by right-clicking. And here, you can uncheck Loop Select. When I do, you can see I can select individual lines. To offset these lines, just right-click again and select Continue. For the sake of this example, I'll cancel this by pressing Escape. I'll reselect the Offset tool and enable the Loop Select option from the right-click menu. This time, when I select the loop, you can see all of the lines offset to the outside or inside depending on where I move the cursor. Don't worry about the distance just yet. That will be controlled with a dimension anyway. When I click again, the offset segments are added. When I right-clicked a moment ago, you may have noticed an option we had selected to constrain the offset. The result of this is that if I click and move any of the original geometry, all of the offset lines stay offset by the same distance. To control this distance, I can add a dimension and modify the value to whatever I want.